How much was this? 199? This is 199. First time going to Costco. A big day for annoying people all over the world. So far, there's a lot of electronics and Honestly, the prices are already giving. I've already realized that I've been overpaying for certain things. So this is a great start. This is gonna be me crying a full meltdown in just about three minutes. Wow. This is, this, this is huge. Holy, this is so overwhelming. I don't even know where to start. Is that a stairs? Like someone's just casually packing away some stairs. I'm overwhelmed. This is easily the biggest supermarket. Is this a supermarket that I've ever been to? Easy. There's someone about to remove a snowman with stairs. Completely normal. Should we start with like grocery food items? Let's go there. I'm not gonna lie, I am mildly horrified, scared, shaking in my boots right now. The audience here, it's giving Karen at any corner. I'm like, I turn right, Karen jump scare. I turn left, Karen jump scare. My membership is one hour old and they're about to revoke it. Let's start with the food section because there's a lot of things that people have told me that I have to try when I come to Costco. Pizza, chicken, rotisserie chicken. The cookies, I heard the cookies are amazing and pumpkin pie and I guess everything here is supposed to be amazing. I'll be the judge of that. We're gonna go to the food section, try to avoid the Karens. It's like you can't make eye contact. If you make eye contact, it's bad. So we're just gonna keep a low profile. Okay, so this is like the Christmas section. It's like a lot of gifts and um, baskets. This is actually incredible. Can someone please gift me one of these? You know what, I'll be happy with the tiny one. This is amazing. Is this a whole thing? <laughs> like for Christmas, I'm gonna gift you a two year supply of pantry. Just all of it, just pantry. What's the price of this? $400,000? $88 for a two year supply? Not a bad deal. This is so heavy. This is a treat tower. A treat tower. When someone asks me what's my favorite monument in Italy, I would like to visit the treat tower. One ticket, please. <laughs> I'm not joking, this is so heavy. I literally... <laughs> it's so heavy. $66 of chocolate. Unless you're running a medium business, or a family of four, or you have teenagers in your household. I don't see who has this kind of demand. I'm probably not gonna get anything from the Christmas section just because I don't know anyone to buy gifts for, but if I wanted to, I actually think the prices are pretty good. Even the European chocolate, why is it cheaper here in America? Like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm mildly horrified that it's cheaper here. For example, we don't even have this quality in Europe. Look at this, a million different types of chocolate. This is $12. In Europe, you would not find this for less than 20, which is like double. And this is manufactured in Stratham, North Carolina. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know what that is. It says NH, Netherlands? What's NH? Turns out maybe not so European. It was originated in Switzerland 150 years ago. The rest is history in New Hampshire. Wait, I just saw something incredible. Move out of the way. <laughs> it's those cookies where your grandma keeps the stitching equipment. Except you'll have a whole lot of stitching equipment room with this. I've never seen anything like this. Like I wanna buy it, but then I'm thinking, I actually don't eat this much better cookies in five years. $14. Pretty incredible. My membership is already making sense. This is like a stadium. Taylor Swift could perform here. Okay, so this area is just clothes on here, but then on the back it says like fresh produce, pastries, cookies, cakes, USDA choice beef. That's oddly specific. Pork, seafood. So this is basically like the fresh things that everyone's been telling me to try, like the cakes, cookies. I'm not gonna go buy any meat, but if you want, the option is right there, right next to the cookies. Just two things that go perfectly fine with each other. I still don't understand why this is the size of a small airport, but this is fine. Let's go check what they've got to offer in the fresh sections. And just as you were about to enter the food section and the cookies and the cakes, a treadmill. Are they trying to tell me something? Are they trying to hint at something? Me arriving to TSA like, is this allowed? 
Otherwise, I'll put it in tiny little bottles. This being the tiny little bottles. <laughs> Me, is this 100 mil? It seems like Costco is the place to come for alcohol. The whole area is wine, whiskey. You can poison yourself in about 360 different ways here. It's next level. A pizza port brewing okay. company. Is that pizza flavored beer? Interestingly enough, they make you walk this whole area before you enter the cakes area. I'm like, I just want cake. Stop trying to give me a strong drink. This is a beer advent calendar. So this is like, wait, is this 24? What's eight times three? 21? Eight times three is 16. 24. It is a beer advent calendar. Just celebrating Christmas in a biblically accurate manner. So we arrived to fresh produce and cakes. I'm not really here for the fresh produce, even though these salads are kind of looking... That is the biggest salad I've seen in my entire life. Like, what? $7.99? A small snack. When you want a light lunch. My name is Bella Hadid. Wait, this one actually looks good. I love seaweed salad. I've just never seen so much of it. Wait, I kind of wanted $11 for a seaweed salad that has a warning for cancer and reproductive harm. Not my ovaries. You kidding me? Uh, this is I a know, small bathtub of ranch. I mean, I do want it. I've never seen broccoli that big ever. What if they fed the broccoli? What if they not fed the broccoli? So this is like the fruit section and it's freezing in here. I'm like, I didn't realize we're coming to Alaska today. The North Pole. This is like a boomer's idea of a ski holiday. The fruit section at Costco. Why is it so cold in here? Also, everything's so big that I haven't even bought anything yet. I'm like, can they please make some things that are individually sized for families or one person? Like, why is everything so big? I should have just gone to Walmart or Target. But I didn't, so... I will say one thing, this is so organized here. Like, Walmart, I always feel like I'm fighting blood, sweat and tears to get what I want. Here, it's completely the opposite. I'm like, it's almost too available for me. It's almost suspicious. It's giving cult. Why is he better lit up in here than my YouTube videos? Like, these lights are looking expensive. I mean, I want strawberries, just not these many. I mean, I guess I'm gonna bring it, but that's a whole lot of strawberries. How do they calculate the portions for each box? When you reach the lethal dose, they're like, that's perfect. We're good. Make it 5.49. No, I'm joking. How many more jokes can I make about food being big here? We're two minutes in and I've exhausted all of them. I'm sorry. Everything is premium. Everything is like so clean. I love it. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know that I was going to be drinking from a coconut in a freezing Alaska weather. This is where I'm at now. Does it come with a straw? How am I going to make a tiny hole here to drink this? Oh, don't worry. It's Costco. I'm sure they're going to have a drill and a straw. I love how we've been trying to look for cakes and cookies for the last 10 minutes and it's like it keeps on sending me on detours what is this me when i forget to trim my legs i was gonna make a worse joke regarding hairy round body parts but i'm not going to so i'm just gonna put it i'm just gonna put it here in this boomer audience i'm gonna get arrested for this i feel like i'm sweating finally we've reached the bakery section first of all you can see into the bakery <gasps> these are still warm $5.99? I'm gonna ship this to Europe and make a profit. Are you kidding me? This is unbeatable. $5.99 for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh wait, this is on the box. 12. <laughs> that makes sense. You can also see into the bakery. You can see them baking everything. So we're getting this. Everything's a lot bigger than I was anticipating, so I'm like, I came full of ideas. I'm like, I'm gonna stock my pantry. I might have to get a storage unit for my pantry now. Pumpkin cheesecake? Man, I just want one slice. Is there a place in here where I can buy one slice? I don't want a whole cheesecake. My neighbors can take any more food. They're like, please, stop. We don't want any more cookies. No more cake. Like, no more 3D realistic cakes. Please. See, if I had to describe my ideal... I almost caused a cheesecake avalanche. And it's pre-portioned? Oh, okay, maybe I should put this down. If I had to describe my ideal dessert, it would probably be a pumpkin cheesecake, honestly. A sweet graham crust 
rich pumpkin cheesecake and the spiced sour cream topper. If I was in the death row, that would probably be my last meal. Is there a place in here where we can buy just one slice? I'm gonna ask if there's like a place where we can do that. So these are Costco birthday cakes. I don't know why, there's a video idea in here, but I'm not gonna buy any, but like, oh my god, this is so cute. I don't want to move it because I don't want to ruin it. But look, it's got a little teddy bear on top. It is the cutest cake. And look at this. I want everything, but everything's so big. I have to choose wisely. Man, this looks so good. $20 for a tiramisu is stretching it though. These are like free in Europe. Like you get tap water, electricity, tiramisu on your front door every morning. You know, just life in Europe. Hi family and friends watching this. My birthday is in June every year. I really like this. It can be without the Santa hat, I don't care. It's a white cake with a vanilla cheesecake mousse. A single tear comes down my face as I walk away from the birthday cakes. I've never seen anything that is this size. Are you kidding me? I've held babies that are smaller than this pie. I thought it was a decoration for my house at first, because I was like, that has to be some art painting. And look at this. That is the biggest pie I have ever seen. This is $12.99. I'm gonna start buying these. I'm gonna cut them into pieces, freeze them, ship them to Europe, and create the best business ever. One slice of this is like the price of the pie in Europe, so... I need to buy something. Should I buy a pecan pie? $17. I cannot believe I'm buying this. This is better hold until Christmas, New Year of 2024. Why are the blueberry muffins the size of a small cake? Each of them could be a birthday cake. They look so good though. The reason why everyone loves the bakery items and all the fresh things here, it's because it actually looks homemade. Like it doesn't look like it's bosses. Like it doesn't have the, no offense to Walmart, but it doesn't have the Walmart vibe to it. And also you can buy a bag of bread for 99 cents. All right, 6.99, close enough. The icing at Costco. Does anyone want to decorate some cookies, cakes, uh, paint your house, cover your bedroom walls? This is icing. <laughs> this is a whole container of icing. Like, I'm gonna be working out every morning with my bucket of icing. <laughs> and they have it in every color as well. These cookies look incredible. These are the best looking cookies I've ever seen from a supermarket. Are you kidding me? This little looks like it's made by my grandma. And the chocolate chip ones. Okay, I'm gonna go for the variety ones. So it's $9.99 for 24 cookies. That makes, so if it was 10 cookies, it would be $10, $1 per cookie. So if it was 20 cookies, it would be 50 cents per cookie. So if it's 24, around 43 cents per cookie. <laughs> That's pretty good, 43 cents per cookie, right? Cents? Pennies? I don't know. Currency is an abstract concept in my mind. So we're bringing cookies because, I mean, we gotta try these. I don't like the raisin ones, but I do want the white chocolate and the dark chocolate. So they kind of force you to buy the raisins as well. Oh well. Are these scones? These are orange scones. I want to buy everything. I don't even know. Like, I can't buy everything. I don't have space for all of this. Wait! Look at these miniature cookies. Wait, maybe I want these instead. These look incredible, crispy, light. That's an incredible looking cookie. Okay, choices. Um, this one. I love how my shopping cart is just 12% uh, vegan pie cookies and the coconut. <laughs> A pumpkin pie is $5.99? How does that make sense? Okay, suddenly I'm gonna replace my pecan pie by this is a great deal. It's also the size of about four pumpkin pies. It's the weight of four newborn babies. Except you love this a lot more than your newborn baby, probably. Wait, you can buy these giant king crab claws, legs, for $37.99. And look at the size of this. This is all crab and bones. Wow. Pretty good deal. I'm like, am I going to make a, a seafood boil? This is what they do with the rotisserie chicken. They transform it into soup after. It's pretty clever. I think I'm gonna buy this. 
This is what everyone told me to get, which is the rotisserie chicken. So we got ribs. I never really figured out what animal ribs is, because I thought most animals have ribs. At this point, it's too late to ask. I should have figured this out about five years ago. Wait, this chicken looks incredible. This is just chicken legs? Where do they find all the chickens to get the legs from? So this one's seasoned. This one's seasoned as well. Given how much people told me I need to come here and try the rotisserie chicken, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. $4.99? Okay, never mind. I take back everything I said. That's a great price for this. So we're bringing that. $4.99 for a whole chicken. There's gonna be a catch here somewhere. I'm gonna place this one just right next to my coconut water. We still need to get a drill and a straw. This whole section, it's sandwiches, but also foods and dishes that you can finish at home. So this is like $28 chicken pot pie. That's an expensive chicken pot pie if I'm gonna have to make it myself specially. But you can also see the kitchen inside and they're making sandwiches right now and it's pretty incredible. It's some level of professionalism that I've never seen before. It looks surgical, the precision. I'm like, I'm not sure if that's the Costco kitchen or an operating room. The line is blurry. This is the most satisfying thing I've ever seen. A ravioli lasagna? That's the collaboration of the year. Stuffed bell peppers, that looks incredible as well. I mean, everything looks great. The soups look great, the salads look great. Okay, why is there sushi at Costco and no one's ever told me? And it looks incredible. It's just a whole lot of sushi. I'm like, can you guys please open a little cafe outside Costco where I can buy these things? Look at the California Crunch Deluxe. This is $10. I don't know how much that makes it per sushi roll, but it's not too bad. It's actually a great price for something that is probably made here in the kitchen. This one's $9.49, which is, it's a whole lot of sushi for $9.49. I would say this is enough for like four people. Yeah, it's like $2.50 per person. Okay, so I ended up going with the California Crunch Deluxe. So I want to try a variety of the foods they make here at Costco because it's truly like a cult. Like, I honestly cannot take a single more person telling me to go to Costco after I've told them that I've never been there and that I need to try this, that, that. I'll try everything. And then we never have to have this conversation again. Obviously, I haven't tried the foods yet, but it's kind of living up to the expectations when it comes to the variety and it's past the expectations when it comes to the portion size. I've never seen these smoothies. Like, usually it's like a tiny little one. Look at the size of this one. That's a whole lot of smoothie. I'm jealous of whoever has the digestive system for this amount of juice, <laughs> amount of green juice. One of the things that I wasn't expecting is that there's a lot of healthy options here. So I find that like salads, healthy juices, the fruit section, it's way better than like a Walmart because I think it's cheaper, even though it's bigger portions, but also there's just actually a lot of healthy food varieties, which is, I guess not what I expected from Costco. I would probably expect that from like a Whole Foods or a different supermarket, but it's great. It's truly great. So there's a whole separate room for dairy. So once we get in there, it's probably going to be just boomers. It's freezing in here. It's so cold. Do you guys see? They're like, here's the milk. If you survive it, you can buy it. It's like the Hunger Games for cage-free egg whites. There's a whole box of hard-boiled eggs. Guys, I just think I'm gonna freeze here. Someone's gonna put a plague under me saying, man holds hard-boiled eggs statue. It's a whole lot of milk. I didn't even know. We got fat-free milk. We got lactose-free milk. We got homogenized milk. That's good that they support the LGBT community. We've got cold press, organic whole, and then here we got a section for oat milk and almond milk. So they're covering all generations. This goes from boomer to gen A, whatever it is. The kids are like two years old now. I have to leave. I'm like, I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Like, I like dairy, just not this much. It's freezing in here. This is a whole thing of heavy whipping cream. This part is a little bit quieter. This was stressful. My heart rate is like, I should have had a heart attack five minutes ago. This is like the water section. Just essential things, I guess, was milk, now water, dog biscuits, pumpkin pie, you know, life essentials. So water and toilet paper seems to be this section here. 
I mean, this is so long. I'm honestly, I'm not even making jokes now. I'm so tired. I have aged, I have matured in here. I have become a different person than I was when I walked in. I have a different outlook in life. This is the power of Costco. This is the length of Costco. This is the dog food section, which I would normally be interested in to get something for Salem, but Salem is a pug. And this is very much for, what dog breeds are the size of a horse? A uh, Great Dane, a Greater Dane. <laughs> It's too much of everything, like freeze-dried beef liver. How many livers are in here? It's just a lot. We may skip it. This is $17.99 for vitamin water, which normally vitamin water is like, sometimes it costs like $3 per bottle and there's 20. So that would make this three times two, $60. And this is 17, 17. I've been robbed, I've been robbed for years. What have we got so far? We've got rotisserie chicken, coconuts, strawberries, a whole lot of pastries, soup, leftover rotisserie chicken soup, sushi. I also got some things that I want to try, uh, not for the video, just for me this week. These are chicken burgers and they're caramelized onion and aged white cheddar. This is literally, I'm probably gonna eat this in one go, but they look incredible. And the best part, they're already cooked. So I just put this in the microwave fully cooked. I love fully cooked things. I just realized I haven't bought a Christmas tree this year yet. I hate that I'm gonna do this, but I think we're buying a Christmas tree. I mean, after seeing the price of the vitamin water, I can't afford to go buy a Christmas tree anywhere else. I'm scared of Walmart now. This has reshifted my perception of of grocery shopping in America. I'm being that dramatic. The smell of the rotisserie chicken is kind of like hitting me now. And I saw someone doing free samples. I don't even know what it is, but I've decided that I want it. I'm going to casually drive by and just act like I don't want it and maybe I'll get it. It's a formative experience to go to Costco and try some samples. Oh, okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. I don't even know what it is. I didn't I didn't read. I saw a sign but he can't stop me. That is a great ravioli. I still have no idea what's on the inside, but pretty damn good. That was worth battling my social anxiety demons for this. So this is the frozen food section, like the Walmart frozen food section with a huge difference. Everything here is Just as you expect. Pretty big. Let's have a look at what kind of stuff they've got. A lot of chicken wings. That looks pretty good. Look at the size of these chicken tenders. Honestly though, there's very few foods that I think I truly could finish this in one sitting. Chicken tenders is one of them. Wow, not so tender. There's a whole lot of chicken here. This is like fried chicken ham. There's like all kinds of like nuggets and chickens. There's dark meat, white meat separation. This is truly so many nuggets. I've never seen dark meat nuggets and white meat nuggets as two different things, but I guess it's a thing here. And look at the meatballs. Very great. What kind of freezer do these people have? Wait, I didn't think of this. Not one of these would fit in my freezer. How are people storing this? So these are discounted items and clothes? Ooh, let's see if we find something. Probably not. Okay, that would fit. ten dollars I want to give you guys like a comparison of the size of the of the aisles and every single freezer is so deep and has so much variety of food there's just so much in here like I'm exhausted just thinking that I need to get out of here I don't know how I'm gonna find a way out you know it's getting serious when I have to pull out my glasses me checking if these nutritional labels are correct <laughs> A 20 value pack of Hot Pockets. I wonder how big pizza is here. There's gonna be like a huge pizza somewhere. Oh wait, all pizzas have to be cooked in an oven so they can't be that big. Wait, what about Costco pizza? Where's the Costco pizza that I was promised? Why is there 
donuts in the freezer. Me, when I buy too many things for my videos, you'll find a random box of donuts in the freezer for three months. Wait, I'm just gonna put it back. Someone is probably shopping and they're gonna come pick it up. Me, when my mom dropped me in daycare. Wait, look at this. Eating bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos? This is probably the most delicious thing I've ever seen in a frozen food. I gotta bring this. I don't have a freezer to fit this in. Can I open it and divide it? I'm gonna think about this for the rest of my life. Not me getting a stocking job at Costco. Guys, I don't know if we filmed this because it was kind of awkward, but I just had a massage for like 20 minutes at Costco. I had a massage at Costco and they gave me the world's tiniest water bottle. You know you couldn't buy this at Costco. <laughs> They'd be like, an atom? A molecule? <sighs> okay, this was the energy, this was the reset that I needed to carry on with our shopping. I just want to show you guys something. So this is the cheese section and look at this. It's a festive advent calendar. Where was this for my weird advent calendar video? It's 12 different cheeses and this is... Is that where the, the president of the UK lives? The Prime Minister? Is that correct? Do we even have one? A pull apart cheese bread? Are you kidding me? When technology has gone just far enough, just perfect, that's it. That's what we wanted. Okay, so this is the clothing section. I just, I don't even think we finished the frozen section. Time is just a blur for me right now. I don't even know if we want clothes. Well, maybe we want some pajamas. Maybe we'll leave that for the end, if we got time. We still have some more food to check, the Christmas trees, and we don't even have space anymore. And the sushi right now, it was raw initially, it's cooked, it's steamed. This is a cube of Eggos. This is like Minecraft with Eggos. It's like building blocks. I'm like, I'm gonna build my house out of Eggos. You literally could build a house out of Eggos. I said Eggos, not Legos. I don't want to be dramatic, but I think I found the end of Costco, like right in the back. We're one Eggo away from finding out that this is all a simulation. This is like breakfast stuff, then we've got ice creams, Uncrustables, the Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, mini cream puffs, I'm just... They have smoothie, like acai bowls. This is literally where they serve your restaurant. I thought it was homemade there. I've paid $9.99 for one of these in LA. This is $10.88 for six. Being here is like finding out the secret behind all the places you go and eat at. Like those expensive acai bowls, here they are, $2.99. Your morning iced coffee. This is a cafe latte concentrate. Like you just add water to this and ice and that's a nice coffee. Tortilla strips, as in Las Vegas strip, maybe. Are you kidding me? Look, this is the size of my torso. My stomach after the holidays. I think this one's even bigger. And they're restaurant style. This is probably what we're getting at the restaurant. You know, whenever they say restaurant style at a restaurant, they mean I bought it from Costco. And honestly, I'm not mad. There's a yogurt aisle, a tortilla aisle. Let me adjust my glasses. <sighs> Shopping panic. I don't even know where we should go next. Should we get the Christmas tree? I'm gonna need a small map for this. Like that's the only way that the Costco experience should be improved is I need a map. Do you know when people plan the Disneyland day? Like where they're gonna go, where they're gonna eat? That needs to be what we do for Costco. And also, where's the pizza? I still haven't found the damn pizza anywhere. We need the pizza. So as you can see, this is the bread section. Um, I'm going to show you the length of the bread section. I think this is the only relevant information. I'll stop when the bread ends. I hope you guys don't have a good analogy because you'd probably be dead. You'd be like struggling to breathe right now. <laughs> it's a lot. I thought it was a lot. Remember when we got these pies? It feels like it was 20 years ago. There's mold growing on my croissants right now. There's also a pharmacy section. <laughs> Which sounds interesting to be honest. I don't even know where to go anymore. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, overstimulated, just over it in general. So this is snacks and just snacks. I don't know. I don't know what anything is. I'm like, maybe I want some turkey jerky. I don't even know my priorities anymore. There's like a pharmacy in here. This is like CVS. Wait, 
I've been to CVS. Stores are smaller than this. I've been to villages in Europe smaller than the pharmacy section here. One thing's for sure, no one's getting pregnant if you shop at Costco. I can imagine a scenario in which you'd need 12 lip balms. Like someone arrives here and they're like, oh, just what I needed, 12 lip balms, perfect. If I was a kid, I'd probably be very happy here because there's a lot of toys. Like a lot. I think my parents wouldn't bring me here. They would just walk me past this aisle covering my eyes. Understandably so. A lot of Lego stuff. This is really cool. <laughs> Wait, should we get this and go race down in the Costco parking lot? <laughs> Apparently someone told me that there's a food aisle in here. Like I asked someone where's the pizza and they said, pizza is outside, me. Outside, like in the parking lot, like in the trash can, like the leftovers. They're like, no, we sell them outside in the food court. I'm like, a food court? So, guess what? That's probably where all the foods are. So, we're gonna go there. Wow, this is Christmas is intensifying. So, we're gonna go there after. The last thing I'm gonna get is. I don't know if I'm gonna get a Christmas tree. I don't have one yet. We're well into December. But these Christmas trees, look at this. You're gonna have to really use that wide angle. It's so big. So, the less expensive Christmas tree costs. $399. I might not have a Christmas tree this year. I might get just a, a, a tiny, a micro Christmas tree. What about this one? How is this still $79? Anyways, call me crazy or call me a genius, but hear me out. Instead of a Christmas tree that is $399, what about, can I tempt you with, for the price of $299, a snowman with LED lights and this, 259 that's $150 cheaper than a Christmas tree. Just imagine you come into my house and this is just standing in the living room. <laughs> Why not? We'll settle for one of these. This has to be cheaper, right? I'm running out of space here. On top of the croissants, great. This is great. It's been a great experience at Costco. If you like fitness and if you like cardio, you might enjoy your Costco experience. <gasps> a whole pizza for $9.95? Christmas is over, let's go. Very interesting. There's no shopping bag, so they just scan it directly on the shopping cart. So it was a total of $100 for this, which I think is pretty good. So now we gotta look for the, the food court. So we're gonna go there now. This was an interesting experience. Today I've learned that there's no shopping plastic bags at uh, Costco. They just scan it directly on the cart, so now I'm just on the street with a rotisserie chicken. I'm like, this is just me right now. Me going to the food court. They're like, are you here to eat or are you here to serve? I'm like, both, ideally. So this is the food court. It's really interesting. It's outside and there's like hot dogs. The pizza that I saw. Are those chicken fingers? There's ice cream. Oh man. And now I've got a pie and croissants and sushi. I didn't realize it was a food court. All the people who've told me to come to Costco, you should have told me that there was two parts of Costco. This could have been an email, this could have been a pigeon letter, a post-it note. <laughs> Let's go see what they've got. What is a chicken bake? Wait, I think that's what my friend told me to try. A chicken bake, the pizza, and the hot dog. And the ice cream would be great. A churro? Okay, I gotta try all of them. I don't have another way to do this. I'm gonna have to try all of them. When ordering whole pizzas, please see employee for wait times. Okay, don't shame me like that publicly. When you make food menus look like a video game, it's a dangerous game. We have two sodas, two hot dogs, one churro, and one chicken bake for $13. Pretty incredible. Okay, $15 with tax. So it was a total of $15 for a whole lot of food. It's pretty incredible, the prices. And this is what it's like. It's just a, an area outside. I'm not sure if this is the case anywhere, because in some places you'd probably freeze to death. And I'm still standing here in the queue with the rotisserie chicken. This is totally fine. I'm like, I need my sides quick. My rotisserie chicken is going cold. No heartbeat. Right. I think this is the chicken bake. Very good. Wait, imagine if this is not my order. This is fine. <laughs> Four sodas? Oops. I think I pressed it a little bit too hard. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you too. 
I'm kind of running out of space here, but it'll be fine. We're just gonna stack everything like it's Legos. The world's most delicious Jenga game. I broke my churro! Oh, no, my churro! <laughs> this is a visual representation of our Costco shopping day. I'm so tired, I just wanna go and eat now. So let's do that. So a lot of the things are warm and I want to enjoy them while they're still warm So a lot of the other stuff we'll probably just eat it at home like the rotisserie chicken and the other stuff First of all, we got a Costco churro. This should be the dessert, but you guys know me I like to start with whatever I'm feeling. Don't call me a psycho, right? But it's softer in the center, so I want the softer part Wow, that is pretty incredible. It's kind of like um, not very sweet. It almost needs like um, a frosting dip. Did I skip something? Oh, maybe the ice cream. That would have been amazing. But I bought too much food, so this is a Diet Coke. I am shocked at the amount of things we were able to cover in this video. It was so much bigger than I was expecting, and I expected big. I was sweating. I was like, I had done my steps for the month, and the lady's like, oh yeah, there's also the food courts outside. I'm like, no. No, please no more. This is like one of those dolls where there's another doll inside and another one and another one. That's what it felt like shopping at Costco. I was like, this never, it will never end. It's Disneyland for groceries. That's a perfect explanation. Not me parking my shopping cart <laughs> next to my eating table. There was also ketchup, mustard, and sauces, but there's a lot of people there. And I was like, they'll be fine. So this is a Costco hot dog. I think the bread is better than the actual hot dog. I like the churro better. <laughs> not being shady. It's not the best hot dog. I like the bread on it. Okay, let's see what else. This is the Costco pizza. That is a huge slice of pizza. That is the greasiest slice of pizza I've probably ever seen, ever. Wow, it's thin. How much was this? $1.99? This is $1.99. This is the size of like an oven pizza. I'm gonna cry. This is like the best pizza. When I lived in London, there was this really expensive restaurant that did pizza very similar to this. People would pay dozens for this. That is officially my favorite pizza I've ever had. I don't think there's even a close second. It's somehow thin, crispy, but also kind of soft. It's really strange. They put everything into this pizza. This is truly incredible. There's no other way to eat it other than to fold it. The pepperoni is probably my favorite part. It's just actually perfect. You know it's perfect when I'm licking my fingers after I've just touched the whole inside of Costco. I love that for me. There's nothing like the flu right before Christmas. My friend Christy said, this is the one that I need to try, the chicken bake. I thought it was a baguette. I was like, you guys call this a chicken bake? This is just bread in Europe. <gasps> Where's the chicken? Maybe it's like on the inside. Not all the Americans looking at me like, she's not from here, she's new here. Okay, I get it. Ooh, not the chicken on my churro. Okay, let's try this. I think it's gonna be delicious. It's like bacon and chicken on the inside. Pretty damn delicious. Wow. This is so good. Can't believe I lived my whole life without this. This is amazing. I just looked on the camera. I look like I just finished school. It's really hard to explain to people that I'm not in seventh grade anymore. I don't know what my favorite was. I think the pizza. I'm gonna have one more bite of the pizza. And the rotisserie chicken sitting there like, am I a joke to you? Is this all a joke? Shopping experience was a 10 out of 10 easy because other than the overstimulation and uh, overwalking over people in general, it was great. But the food court, no, this is pretty good. One last bite of dessert. It is the next day and I was just watching the footage that we filmed yesterday at Costco and I realized how not satisfying it must be as a viewer to watch me buy the cookies, the pastries, and most importantly, the Costco pumpkin pie and not watch me try it. I was about to freeze this pumpkin pie for Christmas. I'm just gonna get one slice out and try it for the video and then I can still freeze it for Christmas. 
Just mine is one slice. My family doesn't care. They'll just eat it. Pie, it's pie. I've already eaten the rotisserie chicken. That was my dinner last night. I should have filmed that. I don't know why I didn't film that. I think I was, as you could probably see in this video, it was very overwhelming. It was a lot socially. My social batteries were drained. My social batteries were busted, exploded into the recycling bin. This is the chicken. I actually only had half of the chicken breast and it was really good chicken. It was incredible. It was really good. I gave a little bit of the inside with not spices to Salem, just like a tiny little bit. Don't call Pete on me. We haven't tried the cookies yet, so we're gonna try the cookies. I am not touching the raisin ones. I'm not crazy about raisin cookies. Um... I've eaten raisin cookies that I've liked before, but this is raisins and oatmeal. I'm like, pick a struggle, please. Not both. Considering the size of everything else at Costco, this isn't even that big. Okay. Costco cookie. Soft. Just how we like it. This cookies probably have the biggest chocolate chips ever. Like, this is not a chocolate chip. That's a whole chocolate bar per cookie. It's a great cookie. It doesn't taste like processed. Why is the fridge open? That's what gets me the most about all the foods that we tried from Costco. It doesn't taste processed. It tastes like, almost like bakery. I know they make it there. I guess that makes sense, but it must be the freshness of it. So I'm gonna freeze all these cookies as well. I understand that Costco is a wholesale supermarket, so you're supposed to go there to buy things in bulk, and that's what makes it cheaper. I wish they made a little bit smaller portions so that everyone could enjoy the Costco experience. I'm enjoying the Costco experience. <sighs> kind of reminds me of a Subway cookie. Oh, okay. I was gonna eat one white chocolate. I guess I'm eating two. So these are the white chocolate cookies. Once again, very much like these cookies are like, wait, there's nuts in it as well. It's cashew nuts, peanuts. I have no idea. They taste pretty good. So many chocolate chips. I can barely taste cooking. I never thought I would say this, but I think they have too many toppings. There's nuts, white chocolate. It's a little bit too much. I like these better. Mm -hmm. I like the chocolate chip cookies a lot. I actually don't care much for the white chocolate ones. There's too many things going on. The nuts, the white chocolate, probably a controversial opinion, but they, they're not flavorful enough. The white chocolate does not have flavor. I'm a little bit disappointed. I gotta freeze this pie while it's still fresh. So we're gonna cut a slice into it. I love a pumpkin pie. I mean, I have a whole lot of it. I better love it. Sell by December 5th. Oh, that's fine. Still got a couple days to freeze it. It is a huge pie. Like, I cannot believe the size of this. It's kind of next level. Why is there water on top of the pie? Oh, it smells good though. It's like pumpkin pie sweat. <laughs> that is weird. Let me smell it. Ah, oh, that is an incredible smelling pie. The smell is even better than the visuals, especially now that it's a sweaty pie. I don't want to ruin it too much because we're actually eating this for Christmas. So let me see if I can just remove tiny little slice. But the crust is very thin. There's almost no crust. This is so huge that like a tiny slice is still the size of a pie from any other place. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to get this. Oh, I'm ruining it. That's Christmas ruin. This is the video in which I've ruined Christmas almost three weeks in advance. Oh no. Oh, no. I should have probably put it in the fridge overnight. I had one job here, guys. I'm really fighting for my life not to ruin Christmas. <laughs> I don't even know how to get this out. I'll just pretend like I had a slice before I defrosted for Christmas. I mean, I did. Interesting. It's very thin, the crust. It's almost like crustless. Like, it's almost sad how little crust there is. I was not expecting that. Controversial opinion, but the crust is my favorite part. A little bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Imagine the filling is like the best thing ever, so I'm gonna get the bit with the more amount of crust. This is exactly what I want. By the way, this big pajama thing that I'm wearing, I bought this at Costco. I don't know if I showed that on video. I think this was like someone left it randomly by the checkout, like someone didn't want it anymore. And I was like, that is a sign from the universe. That's pretty good. Okay, I still think you could have more crust. It's pretty incredible. Last thing, we have 18 croissants. <laughs> oh, 12, as if that makes it any better. Okay, these I will actually not even freeze them. I can easily eat 12. I toast them with cheese and ham on the inside or some Nutella, like a chocolate spread. That is how I like to eat these. I can easily eat four a day, so there's no need to defrost these. They will last three to four days. 
is honestly like if this was in Europe, right? You'd pay good money for this size of a croissant. Like this is some bakery, professional bakery, patisserie. <laughs> I don't even know what patisserie means. I don't know half of the words that I say. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not dense at all. It's exactly how I like it, like super fluffy. I don't know if the camera is picking up on the fluffiness of this. I'm picking up on the fluffiness of this. This is very good. This is exactly what I like about like puff pastry things. Like I want to taste the butter. I want to smell the butter. I want to taste the butter. I want to feel the butter. I want to vibe with the butter. This is very good. This is better than croissants I had in Friends. No exaggerating. Watch the videos. It is delicious. That's amazing. This was worth the trip alone. I think I filmed the outro of this video yesterday. So thank you for spending some time in the future with me. So we're gonna rewind back to yesterday. So have fun time travelers. This is so dumb. I'm so stupid. Just wanted to give you my opinion on the pastries. Great pastries. Apart from the white chocolate chip cookie, I really didn't like that. So I guess this was officially our first experience at Costco. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just another one to add to my series of Walmart, Target, you know, all the other supermarkets we've done. We're covering all of them one by one. So if you like this, you know what to do. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, switch my notifications on so you don't miss out on future grocery shopping with me. Let me know in the comment section, and this is really important, what other places should I go to? Because we've done a lot of them, Walmart, Target, Costco, some healthy supermarket that I can't remember. If you can think of more places that we should go to and just bring the camera with me, uh, please let me know in the comment section. I love you guys, I hope you had fun, and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.